Chapter 28 Only you are. Only you are. Questioner I am not a Jiva. I am not Shiva. Maharaj, these are words. Who's saying these things? You are or you are not. You're neither of these. Questioner, my tongue just says this. Maharaj, because the body is there to say you are or I am. Somebody is there. Questioner, nobody is there. I'm only watching. Maharaj, Shiva is the name given to external things. Questioner, okay, I'm nothing. I have not to say Jiva or Shiva. Maharaj, no, to say I'm nothing, you have to take on ego. Q, questioner, it is just for communication purposes. Oh, Maharaj, okay, okay, you're neither Jiva nor Shiva. You're something else that cannot be defined. Questioner, so is it not possible to make deliberate effort? Maharaj, I've already told you what is going on is for the food body. It is food for life. Questioner, with effort? Maharaj, yes, effort, but effort without ego. For example, like I'm lifting this cup of tea just now and then putting it down. Don't dwell on actions. Don't linger. Everything is spontaneous. It happens. If you find some thoughts useful to you, then keep them. If not, don't. Questioner, what if I find some spiritual thoughts useful? Maharaj, okay, use them, but know that these spiritual thoughts are not ultimate. Your spiritual life is entirely different from this. I told you, everything is behind your thoughts, spiritual thoughts or any other thought. Your presence is behind everything. Without your presence, you cannot think. Don't register the thoughts, e.g. I had this thought or I had that thought. After using a thought, forget it. Since we're holding the body and have the five elements and three gunas, numerous thoughts are bound to be flowing inside. Problems arise because we're fighting with the thoughts. I want this thought only. I don't want that thought. Be a spectator rather than continuously saying, why are these thoughts coming to me all the time? Let it be, it's natural. When you're sitting, say at a shopping centre, many people will pass you by. You're not taking any cognizance of them. So when something that you don't like happens, you're giving it too much attention. Forget it. Some kind of energy is needed for thoughts to flow. Without energy, the light will not work. Electricity is needed. Likewise, that power or energy is behind everything. Out of that energy, something is projected, reflected out. We are focusing and thinking about the projection instead of the projector. Stay with the root cause, the source from which the projection is projected. When you know yourself, you will know that you are primary and everything else is secondary. You are primary. You are the principle. Use your body for routine life. Yesterday we had a meal and today we don't remember it. This morning we have tea. Don't think of all the preparations, the making of the tea. Take tea, then move on. In your routine life, do your job, but don't register it. Don't engrave it inside you. This engraving causes irritation. But don't live just like a beggar. Learn something. Do something with your life. Blindly following spirituality is meaningless. Oh, I'm a spiritual man. How can I work? To live, you need to work. If you just sit down and say, I am Brahman, what's the use of that? Who will feed you if you have no money? This is not the way. Live a practical life, but at the same time, just know yourself in a real sense. You must be in touch with your selfless self all the time. This is the purpose behind singing the bhajans. Bhajan Maharaj says that regular singing of devotional songs will keep you tied to yourself, in touch with selfless self. This way, so-called maya will not dare to attack you. 
Questioner. If there are many people attending these festival days, I feel some disturbance. The more people, the more distraction. But afterwards, the vibration is stronger. If there are fewer people, the vibration is weak. Maharaj. They are not weaker or stronger vibrations. They're just vibrations. They're all coming from you. And you're calling them strong or weak. Your presence is behind the vibrations. Out of that presence, when you get closer and closer, it will be burning brightly. When you get close to selfless self, you will feel it strongly. These are just words I am using for communicating information. When you come close to selfless self, there will be exceptional happiness and exceptional silence. At that stage, there won't be any questions, only exceptional peace. You will not feel anybody, mind, ego, nothing, nothing at all. Only you are, only you are. Except yourself, nothing is there, just I. No type of covering will remain. At present there are still some layers. Mind is one layer, intellect is another layer, ego another. There are so many layers. When you go deep and deep, you will see this powerful fiery energy. You are not separate from the energy, but because of the body, there appears to be some separation. When you get closer and closer, at that moment, at that particular moment, there will be exceptional silence. Questioner, you're describing the samadhi state. Maharaj, it's not samadhi, it's beyond samadhi. With samadhi, there's still an experiencer. You're experiencing samadhi, saying, I had a good samadhi. Remember, once again, samadhi is only a word. Don't get caught up in it. The state where you're unknown to yourself, what you're calling samadhi, is momentary. What I'm talking about is lasting. There is no attachment to the world where you say, I'm a man. At the ultimate stage, the spirit is acting spontaneously. It is not saying, I am Brahman. Through meditation, your reality is impressed in you and growing until so that I... Samadhi means the way you were prior to being this. In that prior to being this state, there is no experience. I'm not the body, I'm not the mind, I'm not the ego, intellect, I'm nothing. This will be your reality. You will know that the entire world is your projection. I used to think I was in the world, now after realisation, I know the world is within me. So don't measure yourself in body form with mind, ego, intellect. Your presence is there. I am inviting attention of that presence where there is no witness and no witnesser. What is left is something that is exceptional and indescribable. One cannot experience oneself at the ultimate stage. Though you are living in the world, you will be unconcerned, as if you are acting. It will be like acting in a dream and watching the dream pass by. Your inner master is your teacher. When you get closer and closer to selfless self, instructions will come from your internal master because of your strong belief in the master. A dialogue will take place with your inner master. This is called self-devotion. Out of this dialogue, you will teach yourself and become your own master. This is what Nizagadatta Maharaj meant when he said, Accept yourself as self, there is no God. Therefore, be quiet.